Hi everyone, it's Heidi Smith here from Flutter by Heidi. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the United Kingdom and today we're playing with Boho Indigo but this time just to make a little treat pouch. Um, these are my customer thank you gifts um, and I thought I'd just show you that how useful boho indigo is now you can see here that this is just a sample of what you get you get a stamp set and dies and you get two sheets each of these three foil and um, gold accented um die cuts you get um two each of three different very vanilla embossed sheets and then you get eight sheets each of these six designs, which are all double-sided. And on the one side, it's geometric and sort of, um, on one side's dark, the other one's light. Um, and then there's some more abstract and floral patterns as well. So floral on the one side, some more geometric on the other. Um, and these are just beautiful papers with the Knight of Navy and Very Vanilla, obviously a classic kind of combination. That's the sheet I'm going to be using. Um, and they're just great they're, and they're f fabulous value and it's even better value because you can actually buy the refill of the uh, paper so once you've used up the paper in your pack you don't have to um, worry about not being able to use it anymore in the same way because you can buy a refill other things that you get in there are these beautiful ribbons you can see here lovely thick um, ribbon and a beautiful gold narrow ribbon which we'll lay out on top you get little floral accents in two sizes um, absolutely fantastic and so I'm not using the dies I'm literally just using a couple of the stamps from the stamp set to make this cute little pouch um, and I came across these um, sweeties and whenever I go away to meet up with other demonstrators we always take loads of sweets uh, just because we need the sugar high um, and so when I send a customer thank you I will sometimes include a little bit of a sweet treat not all the time but I want something that folds fairly flat and this is just a very simple envelope um, but I've used the bow how indigo to show um showcase that so it holds four of these little treats um because they come in a pack with four different flavors so it's as simple as that so really easy just a few score lines um to make this and so let's start so you take a piece of six by six and on the one side you're going to score at one and a quarter flip that round and four and three quarters and then I'm actually going to fold those in first and then I'm going to score at one inch and one and an eighth and four inches and four and an eighth and that's all the scoring we need so you don't even need to do any cutting so once you've done that um, what you're going to do is fold on those score lines and you'll find that that just creates just a little bit of depth on there which just makes it a little bit easier and again on the other side you'll see just by doing that and it's as easy as popping those in and because I haven't put a gusset on the side, it's quite sort of snug. So I'm just popping those little treats in. And this paper is a really heavy, you know, as all the Stampin' Up! papers are, they're a really nice weight of, of paper. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just to keep that closed, it just fits snugly, is I'm going to take a piece of my ribbon and just wrap that round and tie it into a flat knot. So I'm going to just cut about the same amount on the other side. And then left over right and through, right over left. For those of you who weren't in the Girl Guides, just pull that nice and tight. And then you can just trim it um, a little bit down. rubbish haven't used my ribbon scissors on that there we go oh look much easier when you use ribbon scissors and um, that's a, a good good point to know I always keep a pair of scissors just for my for my ribbon so I have made our little pouch I'm using one of the die cuts and I've already popped my uh, stamps the little thank you stamp and the little accent on there and just pop that 
thank you. And then you can just add the accents as you like. Right in the corner, on there. And then one of my die cut leaves. So all I've done is I've put the die cut leaf onto the back of my label. And then I'm going to use a couple of um, dimensionals at the bottom there. I'm just going to pop a couple of just of three mini dimensionals because what I want to do is just attach this to the bottom. So I'm going to move my little knot up towards the top. Just take off my dimensionals. And then that will just sit on the bottom section there. And by tucking the leaf underneath, we have a couple of really pretty little pouches. Very, just a bit of fun, a way of dressing up a little treat. And just one of the things I, I, I can pop into my thank you gift to my customers. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to purchase a Boho Indigo, pop along to my blog, follow the links, or go straight to my Stampin' Up shop at HeidiSmith.StampinUp.net. Bye now. <laughs>